A desperate warning today from ICE that Charlotte could become a haven for criminals who are trying to evade deportation. CMPD arrested a man from Honduras. They say he sexually assaulted a minor here in Charlotte. I says this man was here in the country illegally, and despite their request to hold him, they say Mecklenburg County Sheriff let the man back out onto the streets. Now, the sheriff has refused to cooperate with ICE detainers since he took office last year. And today, an ICE official told our Eyewitness News reporter Tina Terry that these cases are sending a signal, a message to those criminals. Tina. Oh, yeah, in June, that suspect, Oscar Leonardo, walked out of the county jail here on bond. Now, I says he was on the streets for nearly two months before they were able to find him and take him into custody. Today, I told me that is the wrong message to send to the public. They know that if they're arrested, they're not going to be handed over to ICE. That's the message ICE spokesman Brian Cox says the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office is sending to the public. In June, CMPD arrested Oscar Leonardo, a man ICE says was deported in 2006, then illegally re-entered the U.S. again. After his return, warrants say he took indecent liberties with a minor under the age of 16 and sexually assaulted a minor under the age of 13. I says it issued a detainer after his arrest, asking Sheriff Gary McFadden to hold Leonardo. But it says since last year, the sheriff has refused to honor those detainers. If you're not going to honor the detainers, simply call us and tell us when you are releasing a violent criminal onto the streets. Instead, Leonardo made bond, and I says the jail released him without giving them that heads up. This summer, we told you the U.S. attorney for our area even called out McFadden for the controversy practice after Luis Pineda Acheta, a dangerous domestic violence suspect, was released from the Mecklenburg County Jail twice, despite an ICE request to hold him. These people met the conditions of their bond, and we released them by law. Today, Sheriff Gary McFadden stood behind this practice. In the most recent case, he said ICE could have taken out a warrant for Leonardo's arrest since he re-entered the country illegally. Knowing that I will not take care, take the discretion, I mean, the um, det detainer, they still sent the detainer. Yeah, and I says that McFadden's latest comments are flat out false. It says that ICE cannot federally charge anyone, and that is always left up to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Erica? And Tina, we know you also learned today that it, there's a controversial North Carolina bill that would force the sheriff to cooperate with the ICE detainers, and that could be voted on soon. Yeah, lawmakers have been debating and making changes to this bill for weeks now. We first told you about it back in June. Well, we just learned today that they are coming to the end of making those revisions and they could vote on that House bill come Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. If it passes, it will go straight to the governor's desk. Back to you.